video, I showed you a couple different ways of exporting data, discuss some of the pros and cons, or at least differences between them. I also showed you how to import and to use the ARC toolbox to move feature classes around. In this video, I want to focus on what I consider an essential best practice for project management using feature data sets and the main thing in addition to keeping things better organized for you will be that you can make sure that if you do this carefully that your data always gets into the correct coordinate system for your project. So I am going to start at the top level on our Z drive on uh, my Whiting B and you'll start in your top level Z drive folder right click new I'm setting up a structure to hold my project new folder new Jersey and I think she suggests that you put it inside MGIS data it might be better to not put it inside there um, so there it is uh, there's my New Jersey if I want to make sure that uh, a little trick to make sure that it always shows up at the top is you can include um, this exclamation point um, but that could screw you up later so far it hasn't for me so anyway there's my New Jersey folder it's currently empty I want to create a geodatabase so right click on New Jersey folder new file geodatabase we don't use personal geodatabases and it will call it a name with spaces you don't want to keep the spaces for reasons I've talked about in this chapter so NJ for New Jersey and now your book talks about uh, using the New Jersey state plane coordinate system uh, for your mapping so let's go ahead and this is a big trick that isn't shown in the book and I want you to get in the habit of now so on my right click uh, right click on my New Jersey geodatabase new feature data set see that now let's call it um, Jersey state plane SP because this feature data set is going to be in New Jersey state plane as the book instructs you'll see why this is handy it already comes up because I've done this uh, I did this a minute ago so let's imagine that it doesn't show up you want to find enter in New Jersey in the search box up here and it will give you various options um, under projected coordinate system state plane um, for uh, New Jersey state plane coordinate systems each one of these is slightly different in its datum datum is going to it will be something we talk about in the next chapter but the instructions say to use NAD 1983 meters New Jersey state plane so there it is clicking that sets the feature data set coordinate system to be this next we don't need a vertical coordinate system um, for this so we can next through that it's fine to take the defaults so hit finish and now here is our brand new New Jersey feature data set and here's a good way to go from here on out we are we want to do exports or imports into this New Jersey state plane let me show you how it's going to work here so let's start with our feature data set right click on it we're going to do an import so this is the where things are going to wind up feature class single and now you can go to your MGIS data folder find USA states open up US data there are states drag and drop it here output location is the New Jersey geodatabase Jersey state plane feature data set and let's call this New Jersey NJ now the book talks about using expressions where subsectioning is the terminology by using an expression to just give us New Jersey 
So click this button and let's go for state name. Double click it here. We want an equal sign. Let's click get unique values. You can scroll down until you see New Jersey or you can type in Jersey here. Whoops, didn't find it. So state name, get unique values, and I typed new this time. So there it is, state name equal, whoops. You can screw up your expression pretty easily, so let's turn this into a teachable moment and start over. State name equals New Jersey. So I'm double clicking state name, double clicking equals, double clicking New Jersey after I find it. Double check that that's a correct expression by hitting verify. It is. Let's go ahead and run it. And double check, we're starting from our MGIS data states. Um, sending it into the New Jersey state plane feature data set, calling it just New Jersey, and using this subsectioning expression. Okay, so there's New Jersey. Let me show you one more round of it. I'm going to send this away. A moment ago, or in the earlier video, I showed you some more detailed state boundaries and uh, let's find those and send them into this New Jersey state plane. I put those under data, new, let's see, yeah, new MGIS data USA and there those are. So let's pull in detailed states um, into our New Jersey state plane feature data set. So um, we just, just for reference, I located where those things are going to come from. But as before, the most reliable way to make sure things go where they should go is to start with your destination feature data set, New Jersey state plane feature data set. Right click, import again. So that verify here that we're sending it into that feature data set. Let's find that detailed states right here. So there's detailed states. Drag it onto here. And let's call this Jersey detailed. Detailed. And let's use an expression as before, click on state name, click on equal, find all the values, look for New Jersey, double click it. We did this before, we don't really need to verify, but it's happy now. Hit OK, hit OK, and take some few moments to run. Now we see we have two versions of New Jersey. On top is our detailed version with a lot of coastline detail. And behind is a much more generalized version suitable for um, smaller scale mapping. So let's keep the New Jersey detailed one turned on. Let me do one more thing for you and uh, then we will be ready to move on. Hopefully you've got some skills going on with feature data sets. I'm going to find rivers. It's under USA uh, rivers. Drag it. And there is a very coarse resolution version of rivers. Turn doesn't look like there are any rivers within the state of New Jersey. So um, let's find interstates. We know there are interstates uh, in New Jersey. It's known for that. So let's drag and drop interstates onto New Jersey. There they all are. Now here this brings up a second skill in this um, chapter is knowing when you can subsection, namely using an expression, or when you have to clip. And as I'll explain, 
clipping is really kind of using a cookie cutter to cut out things that belong within the boundary of the cookie cutter. A river doesn't belong to any one state, so let's use the boundary of New Jersey to clip or cut out and keep only the um, rivers that, or the interstates rather, that belong with New Jersey. So you can find the clip tool as she instructs in the ARC toolbox. This version of, uh, actually several versions ago, they included clip under the geoprocessing menu. So it's right here. And so it's asking now, what's the input feature? In this case, that's the feature that's going to be cut to stay within New Jersey boundaries. The clip feature is the cookie cutter. Let's use the New Jersey, the detailed version of New Jersey. And we want to send this into our New Jersey state plane feature data set. So that's where we want to wind up. You can drag and drop. Yeah, it, it wants a full name. So at this point, we have to use this. We have to navigate our way, good practice, to our Jersey State Plane, our Jersey folder here, our geodatabase, and double click down into the Jersey State Plane feature data set. And so let's call this Jersey um, Interstates. OK. So this is a good setup for clip. What we're clipping, the input feature, the cookie cutter that we're using, the outline that we're using to cut, and now the full path, including that all-important feature data set um, and the name. A little bit different layout than you've seen with the import and export tools. So hit OK. Let it run. And now let's turn off the old interstates layer, remove it actually, remove rivers, and now we've got, we've clipped New Jersey interstates to just be within this, the outline of the state. Let's double check that it's in the coordinate system we thought it would be in. So open up the Jersey State Plane feature data set properties, and sure enough, it's in New Jersey State Plain. So starting with this teaching tutorial, and certainly in the homework, I want you to get in the habit of using feature data sets. As you can see, as long as you're careful with saving things inside the feature data set, you will always, for free, basically, get the data to be changed over into your project's coordinate system, in this case, New Jersey State Plain.